Hello everyone, welcome to my unboxing and first impression of, well, a device that has demanded a tremendous lot of patience from everyone involved. The postman delivered this package just a few minutes ago, the contents of which, hopefully, are what I've waited for for a very long time. So, let's open it up and see what's inside. This is a Kickstarter project that was founded um, almost three years ago. I was an early backer signing up in 2021 and I believe the original goal was to have the final product released by December 2021. It has seen delay upon delay upon delay. Communication wasn't always at best and uh, as a matter of fact, a few people even started thinking the whole project was a scam. I have backed a few other Kickstarter projects before and delays of one or even two years are really not that uncommon. So here is the board and as you can see at first glance looks like any other chessboard. It has a nice classic look, walnut. Um, although this isn't real wood, it's wood veneer. In fact, the one thing that gives away that it's not just any board game is the plastic base underneath. Um, this is necessary because inside is um, a quite sophisticated piece of electronics and mechanics which turn this board into a very interesting chess computer. That's right, it's a chess computer. Um, those things have been around for decades, but what I like about this concept is that, as you can see, it doesn't have any of the blinking lights, LEDs, displays, uh, keyboards and what have you. There is only one single button here in the base, uh, a power switch. Let me zoom in here for you. And then we have the connector for a power adapter and a USB-C port. The pieces of your digital opponent will move all by itself across the board, hence the name Phantom Board. So let's have a closer look. Um, the one thing I noticed while unboxing is that over here we have a little bit of damage. It looks like it's chipped somehow. Not sure if I can do something about that. Um, inside this box should be the pieces. That's right. Let's get them out. Carefully packed in foam, that looks very nice. And they are made out of real wood, walnut I think. And the first thing you'll notice is this, this metal base. Um, personally, from the very start of the project three years ago, I found this visible metal the one single minor disappointment. Had this metal been embedded, had there been some sort of wooden ring that went down all the way to the bottom to cover up the metal, then this would have absolutely looked like a real old-fashioned wooden board. When I take a closer look at the pieces, I notice the carving is a little bit off here and there. Uh, for instance, these notches, they should have been equal. Uh, you might say that, well, with handcrafted pieces come variations and minor imperfections. After all, this is not plastic that comes out of a mold by the thousands a day, all perfectly similar. Overall, I think the pieces look very nice. Then we have the power adapter, which comes with two plugs. This is the American one and this is the European one, which I'll be needing. So you can just click that on here. I think this really should have been USB. Um, this is a little outdated, but well, if it works, it works. The cable itself is quite short. It's about a meter and a half. So um, keep that in mind. You might need an extension cord if you didn't opt for the cordless version. So I've set up the board. I plugged in the cable. Now, when I turn it on, I think there is a weird smell coming from it. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, the power adapter is supposed to give us 14 volts and that seems about right. I'm checking on my phone whether it sees a Bluetooth signal from the board, but there's 
Nothing there yet. So on a positive note, I see a green light here from the main board, so it does have power anyway. Then this is the battery and it is lying loose. It's supposed to be over here. I think it had quite some rough shipping, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to put it back and not have the cable cause any issues here on the bell because this is the moving part so we have to be very careful with that so what happened is this tiny little component here burned through there was a short circuit somehow and this sadly didn't survive and that rendered this whole PCB useless I'm not sure about the cost perhaps it was the loose battery that uh, bounce around in the board and cost something um, so that's the damage um, this is useless and they sent a new pcb by express mail um, great service this came here in just a few days it arrived today and so what i'm going to do is replace the pcb and I'm going to be very careful because I'm still not sure what the cause was for the short circuit. First off, I will connect the motors, then turn it on, see if nothing fails. If that goes well, next I will connect the electromagnets, turn it on again, see if that goes well, and then finally I'll connect the battery. And if all that works, then we should have a working board. So let's try it. Okay, both motors are connected, the magnets are connected, the battery is connected, all is here. Let's try and see what happens. We've got a green LED, okay. Let's see what we've got here. This is 3.3 volts, 3.4. It all looks well so far, so I'm going to screw this in place put the board back on and then we get the moment of truth. It's ready to scan for a board, so I'm gonna switch it on. You should hear a beep. There it is. Okay, it is now going to align all the pieces. So meanwhile, I can let the app scan for a board. Connect. There we are. And it should be starting to align the black pieces now first. And next up it will align the white pieces. And once the last piece has been aligned, it should start in sculpture mode because that's what it's programmed to do when you first unbox it. So as you can see, it's starting to uh, sculpt a game now. I'm not sure which game it is, but it should be playing all by itself now. And this of course is the reason why all the pieces are quite slender, they're not, they're not stucky built like you would expect. And that is because the pieces have to be able to move in between each other without touching another piece. Okay, I've set up the board, pieces are set. Um, on purpose I put this piece off center, just to see what it will do. So the board is turned on, now I need the app. This is the Android app. It is still in beta phase, um, just like my board is a beta test. So I'm going to scan for a board. It's found it. I'm going to connect. And I have now a connection with my board. And now I'm going to play with Stockfish. And let's say I want to play with White, so that gives me the first move. 
and I'm going to play level 1 because my brain is stupid and I'm going to say start game. Okay, and so now it is telling me to center this piece and that's the piece that I put off center on purpose. So I'm going to center this and well, it all looks fine. I'm going to put the app away. Well, let's put it down here. We can see what it will do. But you don't need the app while you're playing. Okay, you don't need a screen. So I'm going to make my first move, just plain and simple. And let's see what my opponent will do. Okay. And he's going to take my pawn. He's putting that on the side and moving in place where he took my piece. So that's working. And as you can see, everything that's happening on the board is happening in the app as well. But like I said, you don't need the app. You can put this away. You can just play an old fashioned game of chess. Now, let's say um, I don't want to continue this game. I want to start over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say close the game. And as you can see, the phantom board will now reset all the pieces to the beginning stage for a new game. That about wraps it up for now. Like I said previously, this is a beta unit. I am a beta tester. I was expecting software and hardware flaws on this particular unit. I addressed those with great help and patience from Substance, who created the Phantom Board and currently I am waiting for a replacement toplet in order to fix the defective sensor. The software, the mobile app in particular, is in need of further development and a better version is already on its way. Overall though, with regards to the hardware, this is a beautiful device. The board looks like real wood, even though it is veneer. The pieces are beautiful as well and I overcame my initial disappointment with the visible metal ring because the experience of using the phantom board is, is simply amazing. It is a beautiful addition to your interior when it's not playing and I especially love that once you've started the game you can, uh, you can put your phone away and enjoy a classic game of chess without any blinking lights, annoying beeps, displays to keep track of. Your virtual opponent feels almost like a real one and seeing the pieces move very smoothly across the board is, is wonderful. There are still issues to overcome, the, the packaging must be adjusted to cover for rough handling during shipping, quality control might need to be upscaled a bit and um, the app needs improvement, but all those things are being addressed at this moment. Other than that, the Phantom Board is a beautiful device, aesthetically pleasing and, well, really fun to play with. This was my beta test impression. Perhaps I'll be doing a final review once everything with this unit is resolved. Thanks for watching.